हेलो एवरीबॉडी दिस इज शोभित वालिया एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट सैरी लॉग एंड वी विल इंटीग्रेट दिस सैरी लॉग इन द एस पी डॉट नेट एप्लीकेशन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो दिस इज़ द गिट अप रेपोजिट्री फॉर सैरी लॉग इफ़ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन टेक रेफरेंस फ्राम दिस रेपोजिट्री बिकॉज हेयर वी हैव अ वेरी गुड डॉक्यूमेंटेशन ओवर हेयर सो यू कैन टेक रेफरेंस फ्राम देयर सो आई जस्ट आई एल स्टार्ट विद द प्रोजेक्ट फर्स्ट so let me quickly open my visual studio and the visual studio i will create a new project i will go for asp.net core web api project and i will call as a seri log demo v2 and uh, it should be on .net 3.1 so i'll mark as create so a project structure has been created so what i'll do i'll i'll use nuget package and uh, after that i will download the seri log okay so for that i just need to right click on this manage nuget package and here i need to specify the nuget so i need to click on browse over here here i need to search seri log dot asp dot net core just click on that install it another package i need is seri log dot extension dot logging install it and another package i want seri log dot sync dot console select it and install it so here in my project i can see we have all three package installed successfully so after that i just need to open i will configure the seri log in the startup file so for that i just need to open this startup file sorry i need to configure it into the pro program.cs file so in the first first i need to you know specify few lines of code log dot logger equals to new logger configuration dot create logger so it will ask for the seri log dependency so this is fine over here i need to do some more code changes i need to use an extension method dot use seri log here i need to pass an hosting context and here logger configuration here with the help of this logger configuration i need to read from a file so i'll use asp app settings dot json file over here just to read the configuration and here i need to specify the hosting context dot configuration configuration right so this is done the next step what i need to do is i need to open the app setting dot json file and over here i need to remove this entry and i will put a seri log specific entry i have already noted down on the notepad so i will just copy it from here and paste it in the app setting so here in the app dot setting i have specified the seri log configuration 
so basically it is using the serilogsync.console and here we have specified a default minimum level it is as of now it's defined as debug so we can change it to verbose error fatal information whatever we want and over here we have specified that we want to you know log our uh, we want to log into the console right so this is done what i will do i will just open weather forecast controller and i will over here right over here i will write some code just to make sure my logging is working properly so logger dot log so we have specified the dependency over here logger dot log debug and uh, i will specify few more log warning and log error or you can specify a fatal error also a oh, fatal error is not there i'm sorry for that okay so so what i'll do over here i put a sleep for just one second so that it will wait for first one second and after that print all this into the console right and say in finite loop okay that's done now i need to run this so for running this i need to you know set as as is i i don't want to run into the ies express so i just need to specify this over here and i need to run it so it will ask for ssl i don't want that i'll mark as no and uh, here you can see this logs you know here in my console right so uh, everything is working fine i'll do one thing over here i'll modify the app setting dot json right i'll modify this app setting dot json and uh, based on that i'll i'll show you what change what it will basically change so here in the minimum level here i specify the debug right so in the debug every everything is coming error warning whatever right i'll specify as error market save <coughs> so once i do that you know at the run time you can see you know only error log has been you know logged i can change it whatever i want if i says warning now it will you know ask it will basically log error and warning also right so these are the some if i want fatal then it will it will it's not working so it means something is not uh, specified correctly if i say verbose right so it will it will give me all the details every detail right so here in the seri log configuration of the minimum level we can change it whatever we want and uh, based on that our logs uh, change at run time so this is all about uh, this 